Hey guys, it's Rain. So for this one, I'm gonna be using Woodcraft sticks. First, I'm going to be getting rid of the like round edges by just marking a line with my ruler, with my pencil, and then just cutting the X's with some cutters, and then smoothing those edges with my uh, nail file. So this one that I'm doing right now is going to be like my base. For the rest, I'm gonna be doing exactly the same thing until I have nine. So first, I'm gonna be gluing five of them. This is how big I want my box to be. If you want a bigger, just glue it more. To glue them, I'm going to be adding my glue to the edges, the working of a piece of wax paper so nothing gets stuck in there, putting like the edges uh, next to each other. This is how I'm always going to be gluing them. The two of the edges are going to be glued the same, but I'm going to be obviously separating them. So I'm going to be gluing two and two for each side. So once I have my base and my two walls, we could call them like the edges, I'm going to be adding some glue to the edge of the base like this, as I did before pretty much, and then just gluing this to the one of the walls. And the glue that I'm using, by the way, is the super glue, doing the same thing for both sides. And I'll place some like acrylic paint bottles all over the place so my pieces don't move. For my other edges, I'm going to be doing kind of like the same thing. First, I'm cutting like the round edges of one. Since I didn't know how long I needed this to be, I waited until this point, then I just measured it, traced it, and then just cut it. I'll be doing the same thing three more times, so I need four of this, and then gluing two and two together. I'm gonna be gluing those, adding glue to the edges, and pretty much just gathering the whole thing. I added glue all over the place though, cause, uh, just so it doesn't break. Finally, I let it dry with a hair tie around it, just to make sure that nothing moves until the glue has set. Finally, I'm going to be painting this using my off-white acrylic paint and my brush. This is an eyeshadow brush, by the way, it's not like a proper arts and crafts one, just because I find this kinds of bristles softer. Covering everything, obviously, front, inside, edges, outside. But yeah, guys, this is pretty much the catch-all that I want to share with you, as well as to make basic kind of, but pretty handy for like all around stuff on your entryway like keys i don't know change stuff in drawers and bits and pieces all over the place and yeah i really like it hopefully you like it too and you find this helpful as much as i did if so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more easy diys that have my channel subscribe for more and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye